Hey everybody, just doing a little, actually this is a comparison. Right here, you see a Saturn that has been taken apart and, well, some of it's gone, but I just wanted to compare the power supply. Okay, you see the way it looks, right? Now that's for a Saturn specifically. This is for a Dreamcast. This is a dead one. It came out of a Dreamcast. Looks very similar. It's beefier because it's puts more current. But look, if I line up the plugs, it takes up almost the same amount of space. I like that a lot. I love Sega hardware. Look at that. It almost takes up, it's almost, it's the same form factor. The only thing is different, it, I know you probably can't see. The plugs are a little bit different socket. They take the same kind of wire going in, even the same direction. <laughs> but I'm talking about the actual plastic here and here. If I was to mount this right here, then I'd have to anchor it somehow else because, see, you got two, well, you got two things holding it down, it's supposed to be right here and here. But look at that. This outputs 5 volts only. This outputs 5 and 12. I love Sega hardware. Look at that. I bet I could retrofit this, or one like it, into this case if I really, really wanted to, and never would it die. Okay, well, anyway, I want to show this off. This is cool. I love Sega hardware. I love it to death. And this is why. They follow standards. Not like Nintendo, or Sony, or Microsoft. They don't follow no standards. Standard of failure. 30% failure rate. Anyway, anyway. This is pretty cool. Sorry. I almost started a rant. I wanted to document it and show you. See that? That is awesome. I love Sega hardware. Sega should get back in the hardware business because this kind of thought goes into it. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.